Stranger Things Season 2 Chapter 1, Mad Max. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I'm so excited to get into season two of Stranger Things. Thank you guys so much for uh, coming on the ride with us for sure. This show is very unique, super original, and it's got a little bit of freaky deaky in it. So <laughs> I'm really into it. Let's go. I'm loving it. Let's go. You down? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hmm. October 28th, 1984. Three days after me birthday. I was about to say Scorpio season. Go, 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 go! Move it! This is like the Dark Knight. I know. The police are on it. Yali, to your right. That guy looks like that British Spider-Man. I don't the other one. He's like, fuck the system, bro. <laughs> He's like, do it, but not because you told me to. We got more. They thought they lost somehow. Do something, Collie. Do something. Next right. There's a tunnel. Boom. That's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking, man. She's like a psychic. She's like 17. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, Adams? What the hell are you doing? Adam! 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 I'm talking to you! Nothing what? even happened. Brother. Is that why he's yelling, Adams, what are you doing? Just yeah. I'm like, what do you mean why he stop? So she did that in his mind. Yes. Oh, wowies. That's so useful. Oh. <gasps> Nosebleed. So, Callie. Eight. Eight. She's before 11. Uh, yeah, because she's older, so that makes sense. My dumb ass. I thought she was 17. I thought she came after. Because <laughs> it's a different year. So you think they got the same papa? Hey, how do you guys dance to this? <laughs> Can you do I don't know. All right, what was you saying though? <laughs> I'm just happy to be here, man. We got Stranger Things. Isn't Sean Austin the guy that plays Sam? Mm -hmm. Well, What's he's on this. Is he really? It just said. I got you, Mr. Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll carry you to Hawkins Lab. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Max, baby, let's go. Fighting Make for natural is. resources. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Stupid Penny. Dusty, watch it. You almost did me Can I please check under <laughs> your cushion? Dusty. Mom. What's he missing? Mom. A penny? Where's your butter? Where's your butter? <laughs> Love you, Mom. Lucas, you copy? I've got four quarters. What's your haul? Take your puny <laughs> hole and multiply it by five. I'm old old man Humphrey's lawn. Old man Humphrey's got that kind of cash? <laughs> Just call Mike already. You call Mike. I have to go take a shower from doing real work. Like a man. Over and out. <laughs> okay, right, Mr. Humphrey's got that kind of cash. <laughs> what a yeah. bush, shady boy. What the hell are you doing on this channel? Nothing. Well, Lucas and I have six bucks total. What's your haul? <laughs> He's like, gross. <laughs> Oh, don't rob Nancy. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what is going on? I'm happy to be back here. It's the music for me, man. Asshole! Like, where else can you get this? Yeah. <laughs> that's so cute, that little spot. <laughs> right. Dang, Dustin had the mongoose. Okay, so I have to give him two hours. That's nine o'clock on the dot, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. And if anything happens, if you need to come home, just ask them to use their phone and call home, okay? Don't, <laughs> don't walk her bike home. I know. I don't. I wouldn't be able to let him go. <laughs> I would have to go. <laughs> Beauty sweeper. <laughs> what? Beauty sweeper. Dragon, use the magic sword. Oh, Jesus, I'm in the territory here, guys. <laughs> that video game sucks. <laughs> That's what they have all their money for. No, no, no! I hate this overpriced bullshit. Son of a bitch! Eat the shit. You're just not nimble enough. You'll get there one day. Nimble enough. Princess Daphne is still mine. I'm still top on centipede and dig dug. 
You sure about that? <laughs> sure about what? <laughs> All these machines have a free to play button oh, on the back. I know. Oh, yeah, your cousin told you. My cousin told me. Yeah. 751,300 points. That's impossible. Mad Max. Who's Mad Max? Is it you? <laughs> you know I despise Dig Dug. Then who is it? Yes, yeah, fill it, Keith. And I need something in return. No, 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 no way. You're not getting a date with her. Mike, come hey, on. Nancy. Get him the date. I'm not prostituting my sister, but it's for a good cause. No, no, don't get him the date. He's going to spread his nasty-ass rash to your whole family. <laughs> <laughs> acne isn't a rash, and it isn't contagious, you pre waste away. Oh, I'm a waste Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't want to date with you, because you make, like, what, like, 250 an hour? Dang. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we'll be tripping. Oh, yeah. Particles. Hey. hey, guys, do you see the... No, they don't, Will. Oh! Oh, the arcade upside down. <laughs> oh my <You> gosh. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I just. What? I needed some air. Come on, you're up on Dig Dug. Man, you better tell Let's your friends. Back, huh? I know. They're the best ones as hell. I feel like you could tell them. They would understand, right? Yeah, I feel like they would fight for it. Oh, that's, oh, that's creepy. creepy. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the same page. The Terminator. We need to watch that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Morning, there Jim. he is. We need to talk. Get away from me. Okay, no. I Get away really from me. You're really going to want to hear Get this, Jim. Away Trust me. From I only me. want five minutes. He ain't changed. What, what is this, a reporter or something? Any proof on your butt probe and aliens yet, Murray? <laughs> I now believe there was and may very well still be a Russian spy presence in Hawkins. Russian spies! I'm sorry, Maria. Are the Russian spies in cahoots with the aliens? I'm talking multiple reports now. Multiple reports, okay, of a Russian child in Hawkins. A child? What are you talking about, a child? A girl who may have psionic abilities. Psionic. We're talking about 11. Hey, Chief, what about that girl that made that kid pee himself? As a prank. Well, you got five minutes, not a second more. Oh. I talked to a big buy ex employee who said some little girl shattered the door with her mind. I heard that story. Did you hear the one about the fat man with the beard who climbs down <laughs> chimney? Then last month, a co-worker mm -hmm. of Ted Wheeler's claims some Russian girl with a shaved head was hiding in his basement. Ted now denies this. Oh, wow. <laughs> he didn't like that apple. No. <laughs> She's some kind of a, of a Russian weapon, right? Barbara, she sees this he girl tries to help her, perhaps, but before she can, the Russians find them, wait, take wait, them. Wait, 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 you're telling me that Barbara Holland was kidnapped by Russian spies? Kidnapped, killed. Killed. Don't you get it, Jim? I'm talking a full-on Russian invasion right here in Hawkins. They didn't look Russian to me. Give me proof of this girl. I mean, has anybody seen her, like, recently? No, but these are separate oh, sources. Sorry. Okay. I love He's you. gaslighting the hell out of this reporter. Mm -hmm. wants you to check out his pumpkins. Says they've been contaminated uh. by his vengeful neighbor, Eugene. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I really hate to do this, but I gotta run. <laughs> it's an emergency. <laughs> it's very important. Why don't you stop bleeding those people dry and go home? Right? Look, I am oh. not bleeding anyone. Me. Try. Go home. That guy's gonna help us get to the bottom of it for sure. Yeah, he's on to something. It's crap. I know. It's just. I know. That's such a weird crap. high school. Mm -hmm. It's so flat. <laughs> it just it needs some reorganizing. <sighs> so, in the first paragraph, you. Use the um, the basketball game versus Northern as a metaphor for your life, which is great. Mm -hmm. But then around here, you start talking about your granddad's experiences in the war. I, I didn't see how they're connected. It connects <laughs> because because you know we both won. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Steve. Do you think I should start from scratch? No, I mean I mean when's the deadline? It's tomorrow for early application. It'd be exhausting to help Steve with all of his work. <laughs> you know, what's the point? Hey, calm no, down. I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm just being honest, you know? I mean, I'm just gonna end up working for my dad anyway. Is that such a bad thing? As insurance and benefits and all that adult stuff. Oh, she doesn't want him to be basic. That's what her life is. Just look after you a little bit, make sure you don't forget about this pretty face and stuff. <laughs> She's like, I believe in you, Steve. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Oh, they're serious now. Yeah, they came a long way. From California. <laughs> the entrance for this guy. <laughs> She's wasting all that energy skateboarding. <laughs> we'll get the little smacking girl. Would you like to help that 
Just look at it go. <laughs> I cannot. Kind of look like a werewolf, didn't They kind of look like the first Morgan Wallen. <laughs> there are a hundred billion cells inside of this miracle of evolution. No, I did not misspeak. <laughs> I did not stutter. This must be our new student. <laughs> Indeed it is. Dustin, drum roll. <laughs> and he does it. Welcome. The latest passenger to join us on our curiosity voyage, <laughs> Maxine. It's Max. Sorry? Nobody calls me Maxine. Ah, well. <gasps> Mad oh, Max. Max. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Dustin's gonna hate her. <laughs> <laughs> or love her. <laughs> She's wild for working in a Halloween hey store. Hey. Do you happen to have these in any other colors? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of orange. Hmm. Oh, that's Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't look at all like you looked in 50 First Dates, does No. <laughs> You're like, do you have this in your other color? Th <laughs> <laughs> I can get you fired so I can hire you. We don't have to hide back here. Hmm. Oh, that's her man now. It's not Hopper. That's Bopper. <laughs> you know, in high school, you didn't know who I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tonight for movie night. Jonathan's night to pick. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Including Jonathan. Aww. He's not easy to get through to. <laughs> Tell Jonathan not to pick anything scary. I hate scary movies. <laughs> He's such a cornball. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. That's I, what I think... they need. They need a cornball. Yeah, ball. they do. But I want her and Hopper together. I'm a little upset about that. Two for three. Pick your. I'm saying this was all what fine part? yesterday. Fine. Oh, it better be two for three. When there's chief, you should have seen him. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out what happened. Then I remembered Eugene. Well, he started this pick your pumpkin thing. Acted like it was trademarked. I said, hire yourself a damn lawyer. See how far that gets you. You're, you're telling me that nice old Eugene came out here after dark and doused your field with poison. This happened on the day before Halloween when sales are peaking. Sabotage. That's a hell of a coincidence. Hell of a coincidence. You got somebody working in that field? It looks like your land's cursed. That's a lot of poison. Like you hear this sound though? Something ain't right. There's gonna be like some cicadas or something. <gasps> Man, you scare easy, hot. Just a little bird. Yeah, it's it's just brand. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm on Netflix too. Meh. Coming to this. Come and get sheep-faced. <laughs> sheep-faced. No, no. I, I can't let you sit all alone Halloween. It's just not acceptable. I'm going trick-or-treating with Will. All night. You're going to be home by eight, listening to the talking heads and reading Vonnegut or something. Sounds like a nice night. Just come. I mean, who knows? You might even, like, meet someone. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of awkward, right? <laughs> yeah. It's been like an hour. Tell me about it. I just realized Steve's got some heavy, heavy hairspray in his hair. Yeah, it don't move. We can hold up a dam with that. Oh, Jonathan. There's no way this Mad Max. Do you get close? Don't play video games. How many Maxes do you know? I don't know. Zero. That's how many. And plus, she skateboards, so she's pretty awesome. Awesome? Shit. I've lost the target. Oh, oh does he got a crush? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His shirt says Brontosaurus. Why would they get her trash? <laughs> there we go. Stop spying on me, creeps. That'd be so embarrassing. Logan <laughs> Byers? Your she knows. Here. The walk of shame. He'd be a legend around that school. He came back from the dead. I know. You guys think he's okay? He's always weird when he has to go in. He's quiet today. He's always quiet. You feeling any better? Yeah. No, oh, sorry. Aww. There's nothing to be nervous about. Tell him what you felt last night, what you saw. Hey, I'm gonna be there the whole time. So it's gonna be okay. So okay? he told his mom about it? Joyce is the best, you gotta tell her. Hey, buddy. Hey. Man, you better give Hopper a hug. You know what he did to get you out of there? No, they fell off. Bob came in. Was that not Hawkins Lab? Was that? I don't know. I didn't even see. What is this place? Yeah, how are you going to play this eerie music like that? Look at all them satellites. Eek. Mm -mm. Man, I'd be so scared to take my kid anywhere. 
Sir Will, how are you? Mom, Pop? He said Pop. What's your favorite candy? Desert Island candy, if you had to pick one. Uh, I guess uh, Reese's Pieces. Good call. Hey, y'all are the same. Good call. That's not my favorite, but they're good. All right, so tell me what's going on with you. Tell me about this episode you had. My friends were there, and then they just weren't, and I was back there again. In the upside down. There was this storm. I felt frozen. Like frozen? Wow. Cold frozen? Like how you feel when you're scared and His you can't breathe. His fight or flight is to freeze. Or do anything. I felt this evil like, like it was looking at me. What do you think the evil wanted? To kill. To kill you? Not me. Everyone else. Ooh. Oh, so they're Team Will, whoever it is. Maybe the Upside Down wants to overtake, like, real reality and kill everyone? It's probably going to get worse before it gets better. Worse? I, he's already had two episodes this month. He'll likely have more before the month is out. It's called the anniversary effect. The anniversary of an event brings back traumatic memories, sort of opens up the neurological floodgates, so to speak. So what does this mean for the kid, huh? He's gonna have more episodes, nightmares. Yeah, that, maybe some personality changes. He might get irritable, might lash out. What would we do when that happens? Just treat him normally. Be patient with him, don't pressure him to talk. What, what you're saying is it's gonna get worse and worse and we're just supposed to pretend like it's not happening? It sounds counterintuitive, I know, but I assure you that is really the best thing you can do for him. Just let them work it out. That's tough. I understand what you went through last year, but those people are gone. I need you to realize <laughs> I'm on your side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. People were watching him, weren't they? Yeah, yeah you little. Mm -mm. So I was right about it being Hawkins' lab. How's uh, Bob the Brain? Don't call him that. Sorry, old habit. God, I just want to say, man, just a there is no shot on this planet. I'm taking my kid anywhere near Hawkins' laboratory after what they pulled. There's just no chance. I don't even know why they're there. You know what I mean? Maybe to figure out more about it? Nah, I, I ain't bringing Will. You get what I'm saying? There just ain't no way. I demand that place be shut down. If things get worse, you call me first. Okay. Thanks for the info, buddy. They're ready for you, sir. He's like, here's my briefing. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, it looks like another hot one today, huh? Never gets old, sir. It's hot in there. Is that one of them like World War II torches? Oh no. Oh. Ooh, the fire made it active. My mom's gonna murder me. So go home. You just want me out of here so you can make your move. Oh, because <laughs> you're such a threat. That's right. She will not be able to resist these pearls. <laughs> Ten o'clock. What? Ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> On two wheels. They're arguing. They're arguing. I wouldn't have shut the door. Dang. I would just let the door stay open. Oh, here she goes. We'll see her at work. Move ahead. She's incredible. <laughs> she is Mad Max. Max. Oh, please be their friend. I feel like she's gonna think they're lame though. I want you to pick out your toys for the yard sale. Two boxes worth. Two boxes? You heard me. <laughs> I'm fine with you giving away a couple, but the other ones just have way too much emotional value. Emotional value. <laughs> your hunks of plastic, Michael. You already took away my Atari. <laughs> if you didn't want to lose more toys, you shouldn't have stolen from Nancy. I didn't steal, I borrowed. Oh, and you didn't curse out Mr. Kowalski last week either, right? Or graffiti the bathroom stall? Everyone graffitis the bathroom stall. So if your <laughs> friend jumps off a cliff, you're gonna jump too? Oh, funny. He's like, shut up, Dan. <laughs> this isn't strike he did. one. This isn't even strike three. It's strike 20. You're on the bench, son. Be lucky to still be on the team. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is too much. I know. You're lucky on the team, Good. boy. Oh, uh, no. I know it was for sale. I'm so sorry I didn't get to cook. I was going to make that baked CD you guys like so much, but I just... It's fine. Right. It's great. I love KFC. Oh, they go to dinner with them? This so is sweet. I noticed a for sale sign out in your yard. We hired a man named Murray Bauman. Have either of you heard of him? I haven't. Uh, no. Me no, either. I don't think so. He was an investigative journalist. 
for the Chicago Sun-Times. Pretty well known. Anyway, he's freelance now, and... The aviators guy? He agreed to take the case. They sold their house to hire him? That's great, right? Um, what exactly does that mean? It means he's gonna do with that lazy son of a bitch, Jim Hop. They couldn't tell him the truth. That biscuit looks so good. We're going to find our Barb. Mm. That's so sad, man. They're about to sell their house. That's tough. Is that why you're selling the house? Oh, don't worry about us, sweetie. For the first time in a long time, we're hopeful. Now you gotta mm. shut up. Excuse me, I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that biscuit looks That is too so good. sweet that they do that, though. They're looking good. <laughs> <laughs> If I was them, I don't know how much I would really like Steve, though. You know what I mean? My daughter goes missing because she goes to your underage party and I don't even know you. Well, he's like turning it around by being there, I guess. Yeah, I would suspect Steve. Dang. Poor Barb, man. <laughs> yeah, that cut Barb deep. Like a barbed wire fence. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional value. Oh. <laughs> 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 Kept it. <laughs> Just give that away. That's one box right there. Yeah, but remember, I'll move that with her head. Or they wanted her to. Yeah, you're right. I'm a lot less emotional. I'd have chunked it in the box. Oh, he still hangs out under that. That's so sweet. Who oh, are you there? Stay 352. Oh, stop. I'm still here. If you're out there, say something. Or, or give me a sign. I won't even, I won't even say anything. Just... I want to know if you're okay. So Was that the saddest thing you've ever seen in your life? <gasps> oh, hello, was that you? Yeah, it's me, Dustin. What are you doing on this panel again? I've been trying to reach you all <laughs> I thought day. thought that was her. Right. Max is Mad Max. Yeah, I'm busy. But Mike's not going to like it. Last time I checked, our party's not a dictatorship. It's a democracy. What if Max <laughs> says no? How can Max say no to these? I told you to What's stop up with that? that? I'll see you tomorrow. That's a cool little like entrance Area, though, to a yeah. house, yeah. Muse. Oh no. Whoa. That's like scream. Stop. That was a street cat in there. You gotta get used to it. This is the future. Well, put the future down and get me a clean bowl. <laughs> That's the future. What are you working on? Zombie boy. It, it kind of looks like you. I know. It looks like Jonathan. Did someone call you that? You can talk to me. You know that, right? W whatever happened to me. Stop treating me like that. What? Like what? Like everyone else does. Like there's something wrong with me. What are you talking about? They all treat me like I'm gonna break. Like I'm a baby. Like I can't handle things on my own. It just makes me feel like more of a freak. You're not oh. a freak. Yeah, I am. You're right. You are a freak. Do you want to be normal? Do you do you want to be just like everyone else? Being a freak is the best, all right? I'm a freak. Is that why you don't have any friends? <laughs> I, I have I have friends, Will. <laughs> then why are you always hanging out with me? Don't worry about it. You're my best friend, all right? And I would rather be best friends with Zombie Boy than with a boring nobody. Facts. Right, tell him, Jonathan. Who would you rather be friends with? Bowie or Kenny Rogers? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Nobody normal ever accomplished anything meaningful in this world. Some people like Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers? I love Kenny Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they told him about everything that happened? I don't know. That guy's good energy. Where's oh, they watched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, let it go. Probably just a crank call. A, a crank, crank call? <laughs> hey, y'all need some crank. <laughs> Wait, what? No, that would give me anxiety too. It's probably the upside down calling. Absolutely it is. I didn't realize that place was shaped like an X or a T or a cross or a plus. Like the X on your and Look, it's back there going haywire. You didn't even know. Man, I wish I could go pick out some decor out this freaking show. I've seen so many cool things. I know, they're cute and they're retro. I like the shapes of everything. Dang, that's a short drip you got there. I wish I could pee that quick. Look at that cup holder. Takes me all day. Oh, for the Listerine. Are you opening that door? Mm-mm. 
-hmm. I am. I have to. I'd be too scared not to know what's out there. Nah, when you see particles, that ain't good. Jeez. Oh, he got chills. Do you think that's from that thing being all up in his, like, body? It's almost like his brain frequency, like the hertz in his brain aren't on the right frequency or something. Or he can see both at the same time. What is that? Did you see that? That was like the biggest monster. That was huge. It's almost like he's got like some type of schizophrenia or something. He's popping in episodes or something. Sorry, guys. I don't, you know. To me, it seems like he's here and there at the same time. Tripwire. Oh, nice. Hop, hopped over the tripwire, didn't he? Oh, he's big paranoid with the tripwire. Hopper? Is that his house? I, mean, I thought he, he took, had a single wide. He took off the jacket like it was his house. That must be his his girl's house. His girl lives up in the woods in a cabin. <laughs> <laughs> she a little jungle mom. The librarian lady? Yeah. She caught those fish on the wall. <laughs> hey, what are we talk about? <gasps> a waffle. What? No signal. It's 815. You're late. It's 815. Oh. Yeah, I lost track of time. I'll, I'll signal next time, all right? It's 815. It's not 815. Oh. She has hair. Whoa. That's how you look when you was a baby. You had a little haircut like that. <laughs> yeah, I did. Dinner first, <laughs> then dessert. Always. Oh. Yes. So Hopper hopped into the dad role, huh? Mm -hmm. I love that. Oh. She was out like a wild deer. He domesticated her. Brought her home. Oh, look, and he's making her eat dinner before waffles. I am my heart. <laughs> I love that. That's why he's so gaslighting them reporters, huh? Yeah, he's like, whatever you say, whatever you say, don't look into it. That's my kid. Russian girl with no hair, you saying? Hell no. Guys, this show is too charming, man. I I'm it really is trying to tell y'all. I feel like I'm going to be crying. I know you got emotional. Episode. I know every episode. Yeah, you know, I think every episode on some level you've like because the kids cried make me cry. Bit. I don't know why. <laughs> like I guess because they're just such a way innocence to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're just doing their best. They're just little kids. So loving this show, guys. You can go ahead and be like you know the plus 10 button you know y'all can skip ahead we're about to hop into another episode but i just wanted to say uh this show is going crazy we got some new characters one our patreon said his name was billy i guess is that his name i, didn't hear his I name. don't think the show said but on patreon you guys said that we're going to meet a character that we're not going to like uh named billy uh i really love being back in this world man the music is so nostalgic and stuff and i just think that is such a fun little show and it's super serious i'm really starting to realize that there's a lot of real implications you know it's mm -hmm. a really serious drama but at the same time it keeps itself really light and fun you know like half this episode they were tripping about the girl breaking the record on the video game <laughs> yeah but they're dead serious about it and their little world is really all that matters so it started out them trying to collect money to go do it and i thought it was going to be because of something like important <laughs> yeah know? like they were trying to like collect something to like go on another mission or something or absolutely or to find l or, or they something. needed to get yeah. like a pump for their bicycle tires because they had something important to go <laughs> yeah. do but they needed to go play this video game they're just kids at the end of the day <laughs> new characters so there's the girl the brother who's super edgy and awesome and we just love them absolutely and then there's the little girl which is i guess his little sister maybe mm -hmm. and her name's max and it looks like everyone's sort of crushing on this girl maybe because mm -hmm. she's like the new girl so and she's I don't know. and she can skateboard and break records at Dig Dug or whatever. <laughs> I've never played that. She was a skater girl. <laughs> they yeah. said see you later, girl. But um, so loving that. But anyways, guys, uh, I just don't understand why on earth they would be going back to Hawkins Lab under any circumstances. You wouldn't catch me dead near that place. But evidently, they convinced them that they took out the bad guys. They cleaned out the rot that was. I mean, there was different people for sure. Well, yeah, but the organization is just changing the head of it. I mean, they're just changing the front people. The organization is mm -hmm. rotten to its core. Yeah, it's still I mean, bad. You got to just completely disband that place after that. But they're up to something different, though. They're burning some junk. I guess they just don't because, you know, this is set back in the 80s. They're just not really in that mindset of don't trust things. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, we need to get into the next episode. So we have more to talk about. I'm loving the show, man. Let's go. Let's go. Stranger Things Season 2, Chapter 2, Trick or Treat, Freak. Not very smooth on the landing. Oh, the Halloween but... episode? Woohoo. Trick or treat, freak. I'm gonna cry again. Woo. Kind of intense. <gasps> the 
showing us what happened. So she went straight to the upside down, huh? And she looks weak. This feels like the back room's on it. Mm-hmm. Mike! Is that a portal? Mm -hmm. Charge it! Oh, right in the paw print. That's like police flashlights? I'd be scared, because I don't know who that is. Right. Ooh. That could be Papa. Talking about Papa with the chopper. Mm, I'm talking about Papa the doctor. <laughs> it's kind of like being born. Like you're being born back into yeah. the real world. Um, I think I would only want to experience that once. Mm -hmm. And I already did. Jump, jump, jump. Or do that. I feel bad when she does this. Is it like a fixer? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh. Man, you need to get to the locker room and take a shower. She doesn't really know about those, though. So she fixed it like that so she could go through. Yeah, she just expanded it basically. Even to keep all of this top secret. Understood. We're all patriots in this. Dad's just so agreeable. Let's go back to the beginning. I told you everything. I don't know where she is. And even if I did, I'd never tell you. I know it's difficult to accept. Oh, so she, she went back. You true, to putting yourself and your entire family at risk. Michael. So she went Michael. back, but realized she can't. Right. Oh. She found a good hiding spot, though. Kind of like Lord of the Rings when they're all hiding. Well, this one's starting out sad, guys. I feel like this intro, it never really like quite goes crazy. Like it's such a build up, but it never really like explodes. Yeah. So in a sense, it's like you like want more of it, I guess. I love the music in the show in general. It's so good. Well, looks like we're gonna be in Hawkins for the next hour. Let's go. Trick or treat, freak. Unless we go to Pittsburgh for five minutes again, because what was that about, you know? Oh yeah, I even forgot. They're gonna have about to that. connect somehow. French shows. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ghost. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Halloween. Sure is. Aww. Oh, no, it's breakfast, okay. They wouldn't see me. The bad men. What are you talking about? Oh, she wants to go trick or treating. Trick or treat. Mm hmm. But she can't. You want to go trick or treating? Oh. You know the rules. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you know the answer. No, but no. I don't. They wouldn't hey, see me. I don't care. You go out there, ghost or not, it's a risk. We don't take risks. They're stupid. And we're not stupid. <laughs> Dang. So Hopper's kind of holding her hostage a little bit. Sit down mm -hmm. and eat. Your food's getting cold. Well, it's serious. How much they want to find her? <laughs> right. But it's all about perspective, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she just wants to be a kid. How about? I get off early tonight and I buy us a bunch of candy and we can sit around and get fat and we watch a scary movie together. I like that. How's that for compromise? Com compromise? <laughs> but that's your word for the day. Yeah? It's something that's kind of in between. It's like halfway happy. By five, one, five? Five, fifty. <laughs> yeah. I promise. I hope he keeps that promise. Oh my gosh, you better be halfway home. Happy. Oh, this better not go wrong. <laughs> I'm looking for the tears. Come on, honey, up and at him. Will? Uh oh. Oh no. Where's Will? There's what? no way he's about to show up missing Where's again. Will? Not again. He's not in his room? No. Will? He's like, geez. What are you doing? Peeing? <laughs> <laughs> 
Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Need some tape. Hold on. She made that? Dang, she went all out, didn't she? Mm. Spider. Monster. What's this? Uh, nothing. Did you have another episode? No, it's just um a sketch for a story I'm writing. Scary story, bro. That thing was horrifying. Oh my gosh, those pictures are so cute. Uh, turn to the light. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Man, I've never seen the Ghostbusters movie ever. Me either. I know the song though. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder you only hang out with boys. Erica? Just the fact. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Okay, say who you're gonna call. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. That he's the cooler than everyone because he's got a girlfriend, or he had a girlfriend. Yeah. What did you say? Oh, it's cool. How the moms love that just as much. <laughs> Why are you Venkman? Because I'm Venkman. No, I'm Venkman. Why can't there just be two Venkmans? <laughs> I'm Venkman. Dustin stands. You're Egon, and you're Winston. No one wants to be Winston, man. Who they Winston? are? I know. I wish we knew. Winston, he joined the team super late. He's not funny, and he's not even a scientist. Yeah, but he's so cool. <laughs> if he's cool, then you'd be Winston. I can't. Why not? <laughs> be, 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 because you're not black? I didn't say that. Oh, <laughs> is that what it was? <laughs> oh, they just assumed he would be it. <laughs> Why is no one else wearing costumes? <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> so they're just ghost busting for no reason. Be cool. Who are you going to call? The nerds! <laughs> <laughs> She's so cool. Right. We gotta do she this? skates straight. Not right now. We look like morons. Maybe she likes Ghostbusters. <laughs> of course she likes Ghostbusters. We're dressed up and she isn't. Well, I didn't bring regular clothes, did you? You got an undershirt. <laughs> yeah, play it cool. <laughs> Act like you're gonna suck her up. We could ask her after class. Yup. Okay. See, it's an exact match. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Why would he lie to me? It's not like he's describing a nightmare. He talks about them like they're real. Yeah, because they're not nightmares, they're flashbacks. It feels like you're there. What the hell is this? Owen said it would get worse. I think he's right about trauma. And he's right, we're coming up on a year, you know? I think everybody's on edge. Me, you, Will, most of all. Nothing's gonna go back to the way that it was. But it'll get better in time. What time is it? Right now? No, I'm talking about, because he better be home at 5.15. It brings me back old times. Sharing my cigarettes between uh, Fifth and sixth period. Yeah, under the steps. Mr. Cooper caught us that time, remember? So. Uh-oh. High school sweethearts. We just ran. You would definitely think they would ban Hopper from the premises for life, too, right? Yeah, because he, you know, he's suspicious of them. He's broken in, broken noses, all kinds of stuff. He's even went in there. Ugh. That man just like pops in and hops into the upside down. <laughs> How's it looking out there, cowboy? Nice, nasty with the it's radioactive there. That's why they wear them suits, I guess. But Hopper just hopped in there and right. so did Joyce. No, no, Joyce had the suit on that. All right. And we're back on. That's the same doc right there. I felt frozen. Doctor Stressball. Mm-hmm. I wonder what was off the line out there that they had to fix. I don't know. <laughs> that pencil sharpener. This isn't you. Oh my gosh. What's going on? Are you okay? Just a look alike. I can't keep doing this. Doing what? Pretending like everything's okay. What are you talking about? Barbara. It's like everyone forgot. It's like nobody cares. Except her parents. And now they're selling their house. And they're yes. going to spend the rest of their lives yes. looking for I her. Know. I know. It's destroying it, them. No, I know. Listen, there's nothing we can do about it. We well, could, could tell, tell them. them the truth. Well, you know that we can't do that. We don't have to tell them everything. This isn't some game, Nance. If they found out that we told and Oh, he's really stressed about it. They could put us in jail, okay? Or worse, they could destroy our families. Yeah, I didn't really think about all that. Anything yeah. they want. It's hard, but let's 
And let's just go to Tina's stupid party. And just pretend like we're stupid teenagers, okay? Okay. Uh-oh. Nothing ever goes good when you go to the party in times like this. The whole Scream franchise. Hi, Max. I'm Dustin, and this, this is... Lucas. Yeah, I know. The stalkers. Oh. We weren't we were stalking you. No, we we were just concerned because you know you're you're new and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah for your safety. Mm -hmm. Th there are a lot of bullies here. So many bullies. Is, is that why you're wearing proton packs? Well, mm -hmm. these don't function. But I <laughs> do have this handy dandy little trap here. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, right? No? Okay. But um, so we we were talking last night, and you're new here. So you probably don't have any friends. And they were talking about you last night. And you're scared of bullies. So uh, we, we were thinking that it would be okay if you come with us. Our party's a democracy and the majority voted you could come. I didn't realize it was such an honor to go trick or treating with you. It is. We figured you'd want in. That's presumptuous of you. Yeah, totally. So um, he didn't know them. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we're meeting at the Maple Street cul-de-sac at seven. <laughs> Sumptuous. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? No. <laughs> Is it bad? Inhuman. Relentless. Oh, she's Sinister. gonna get brainwashed by this TV. Mm -hmm. Don't you love me? Oh yes, of course I love you. It's just, it's just that it's so sudden. I mean, it's not like you. Me? Me? Oh, oh no. <laughs> made me wild and impetuous, just like you. Impetuous. People are going to be aghast. People are gonna be gassed. I, I, I gave a squirrel a fry the other day. <laughs> it was so grateful. It was so cute. It literally told me thank you like three times. <laughs> oh. That's the polar opposite of what your squirrel looked like. Dang, Elle. She's trying to have some, some squirrel stew. Dang, she knew to cook it at least. Oh, I'm so dumb. This is before. So I thought she just, just went out there and took one. I was like, geez. Hey, I'm not going to hurt you. What's your name? What are you doing out here in the cold? Ooh. Dang, El. <laughs> he just got knocked out by a partially cooked squirrel. No one's ever going to believe that. Yeah, y'all don't know what she had to do to survive. <laughs> The trials and tribulations. She was out in those streets, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Eugene's at it again. So you're telling me that Meryl poisoned your farm because he thinks that you poisoned his, which of course you didn't. No, sir. And I got me an alibi the night he accuses me. I mean, so this is Eugene. Mind. Went around slandering me, threatening all sorts of madness. A pumpkin conspiracy, yeah. Chief. Hawkins very on <laughs> Chinatown. You see these hands? Yeah. You know why they look like that? Because you're old. you damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been doing this a long time, Chief. A long time. And I ain't never seen anything the likes of this. None of us have. None of us? Oh, Merle didn't just hit me last night. He hit damn near everyone. Pete Freeling, Rick Neary, the, the, the Christiansons. They sound like farmers. <laughs> <laughs> the Christiansons. <laughs> this is like Moana. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're late again. Yeah, I had to get catch up homework. Oh, Jesus, I don't care. You're late again, and you're skating home. Do you hear me? <laughs> Dang. He's going to make her skate home through the leaves. <laughs> God, this place is such a shit hole. It's not that bad. Mm, you smell that, Max? That's actually shit. Cow shit. I don't see any cows. Clearly, you haven't met the high school girls. <laughs> so what? You like it here now? No. Then why are you defending it? I'm not. We're stuck here. Then whose fault is that? Uh-oh. What'd you say? Nothing. You know whose fault it is. Say it. Say it! Oh my god. Uh, uh, He's hell on wheels, ain't he? Personified. Everyone oh no! Hey, Billy, slow down. Are these your new hate friends? No, no, I don't know them. Well, I guess you won't care if I hit him then, huh? I get bonus points, I get them all in one go? No, Billy, stop, it's not funny. Bro. <laughs> He's like those people on Forrest Gump. That's Billy the Kid right there, literally. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, shit. That was a close one, huh? He acts coked out. Max. They're gonna think that she don't like them. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. I asked you out. Please don't have your brother <laughs> run my ass over. I'm so sorry. I'm I'll you never home. do it again. I'll ghost bust somewhere else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'll ghost bust somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean to like that. Your perversions come out sometimes. <laughs> That's yours, big dog. You trying to tell me with a straight face? Cole did this. All right, Eugene. How far does it go? It'd be like climate change. <laughs> <laughs> I felt this sludge before. You think that monster's coming out that tree? The that demi gorgon? Like a giant. It just likes pumpkins out. Oh. Bell, Sue. I want you guys to track the rot. See how far it goes. Just uh, mark anything that's dead. <laughs> Look, we don't know what causes. Could be poison. So don't touch anything without gloves. <laughs> Ew. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's over there. Like, Copy that, chief. <laughs> I don't care, Hopper. You just better be home at 5.15. Either that or Hawkins Lab is dumping their waste somewhere or something. I genuinely feel like it has something to do with them so being inside of it. In? I don't know. Yeah, just make sure cool. you turn off the power to save that. <laughs> He's <anything>. Dracula. <laughs> Listen, stay close to your brother. Right. If you get a bad feeling or anything, right, yeah. you just tell him to take him okay. straight home. Be safe. I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> 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 I, just, I just don't get what she sees in it. It's funny that guy played in one of the most emotional scenes in cinema Everything history. He doesn't treat me different. I mean, I can't even go trick or treating by myself. You, you think I'm lame? No, but it's not like Nancy's coming to watch over Mike, you know? He's like, I wouldn't care if she did. <laughs> if I let you go on your own, Ooh. you promise to stay in the neighborhood? Yeah, 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 totally. And be back at Mike's by nine. Nine. Don't do 30. it. Nine. Yeah. Deal? Yeah, deal. If something oh, happens to him and it's his fault again. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. You gotta follow him the whole time. Mm. You know that's a bad idea. <gasps> He's going to Tina's. <laughs> that sounds like a nuts <laughs> place to be. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't he new in town? <laughs> he is too much. <laughs> That town is too small to have these many damn screw ups in it. <laughs> we got ourselves a new cat king, Harrington. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, eat it, Harrington. <laughs> <laughs> How long did they prep these costumes? What are they even supposed to be? <laughs> What's in this? Pure fuel! <laughs> <laughs> is that Dustin's brother? <laughs> Take it easy. Dance, dance, dance. Stupid teenagers for the night wasn't that the deal? Why does she want that much pure fuel? She's rebelling against Steve. <laughs> Dang, a little motley crew action. I know they were raging in there. Mm -hmm. I thought somebody was playing Guitar Hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, not Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. You playing Frankenstein on my Dracula? Come on, you're stiff as a board. He's fine. Hey, Jonathan's with him. No, he ain't. No. Every time he's away from me, it's like I, I can't function. I love Joy. She's like the best character. Yeah, she is. What if we were to move out of Hawkins? What? I know. Whoa, Nelly, right? Well, my parents are selling their house in Maine. Mm -hmm. There's a radio shack nearby. I'm sure they'd take me on. <laughs> just... That's so the 80s. Yeah. My turn to be silly now. Move away and go work for Radio Shack? <laughs> no, mm -hmm. it's fine. This is not a normal family. It could be. Um. Swear I've been dropping no eaves, sir. <laughs> I know. I, lo I love Sam's character. It's the best character out of anything we've watched ever. Victims. <laughs> <laughs> Trick or treat! The little exterminators! <laughs> 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 The three musketeers, I'm gonna kill myself. Why? What's wrong I'll with take three it. Musketeers? What's wrong with three musketeers? I don't watch three musketeers. Yeah, it's just nougat. Micah, there's four of them. It is top three for me. Top three? <laughs> top three. <laughs> oh, God, give me a break. Seriously, He's so hyped. I can like a whole bowl of nougat <laughs> straight up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You should have seen the look on your faces. Who screams like that? You sound like a little girl. <laughs> Dang. Hey, you guys coming or not? Oh, I heard we should hit up Lock Nora. That's where the British people live, right? They love her. <laughs> <laughs> they love her. I love the role reversal. They're so excited about the girl, and now he's not. I know. He's like, because that ain't my girl. That yeah. Ain't. He said, I like my girl to talk less. <laughs> I like my girl to move things with her mind. Mm -hmm. All she does is skateboard. That's not that cool. Maybe we're going to piss off our skater community. <laughs> <gasps> 
It's past 5.15. Just need you to know that. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, you got me, kid. Yeehaw. Happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. He just realized what time it was. I love this music. He got a little boogie in the step. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go. The kid might need to get out of there. <laughs> Let me get that candy. Hey, kid. <laughs> Some of that candy, oh. I knew it. <laughs> How about now? Five dollars. Oh, that worked. I'm Maria. Would you like one of my flowers? Oh. D. E. Late. Oh. Late. I'm so sorry. I've been working on my Morse since that earlier episode. No, it says got candy. Don't worry about it. Picked it up for a still. <laughs> a bag of candy like that's like 14 bucks now. I know. The box, the box, right? So much better than Squirrel. <laughs> it was a monster mash. mash. This reminds me of Nolan. <laughs> I used to hate this song, but now that I'm older, I actually kind of like it. I mean, this tree's good for skating. Yeah, totally tubular. <laughs> what, did you say that right? <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like totally tubular. Totally <laughs> tubular. What another way, dude. Totally tubular. <laughs> They're playing her because she skates. <laughs> Rodacious, bro. That's what they think. Is you okay to this? To her. Join your party. It's just for Halloween. You should have checked with me. Why? They were excited. I guess I thought you'd be okay with it. She's ruining the best night of the year. Oh. Jelly. It's funny though, because when you're a kid, you have no self-awareness. You're just a kid. Watch it, <gasps> zombie boy. <laughs> oh no. Mike? Mike? Uh-uh. That is so much worse than a demigorgon. It's like the demigorgon's boss. Ugh, dude, it looks like Majin Buu or something. You don't know who that is, probably, but. That looks totally tubular. That thing's totally surfing the upside down, bro. <gasps> Will, what's wrong? Holy shit. <laughs> is he okay? I don't know. Where's the camera? I got it. I got it. Keep trick or treating. I'm bored, anyways. <laughs> Sassy pants. What's wrong with him? Well, he he's mad at her because she took two of his friends away. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you know what? I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone and join this party. He didn't even wear a costume though. But nice he's gonna costume. regret it. Huh? <laughs> nice costume. Oh, I like her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going as a guy who hates parties. <laughs> Keep it moving, John. <laughs> what was she supposed to be? It was kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> Kiss? Yeah. Your band. Who is she supposed to be? Gene Simmons or something? He's had enough, okay? Screw you. Put it down. No. Dance. Stop. <gasps> what the hell? What a character flip for both of them. I'm sorry. It looks more Halloween-like now. It's coming. Let me take you home. Come you on. wanted, you wanted this. No, I didn't want this. I told you to stop drinking. Bullshit. Okay? No, it's not bullshit. Bullshit. Okay? No, it's not bullshit, bullshit. Nancy. No, you. You're bullshit. What? You're you're pretending like like everything's okay, like like we didn't like we didn't kill Barb. Whoa, 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 like, whoa. Like, it's great. Like, we're in love and uh, we're partying. This, this is bullshit. Like we're in love? That's all you got? Bullshit. You don't love me? It's bullshit. Ooh. Dang. You got one less problem, Steve. He's like, let's go, baby. <laughs> He's like, tap in, boys. <laughs> he tagged him like, in. Yeah. He's like, like I'm stuck. <laughs> On the way out. Like, like stuck in the upside down? That's mm -hmm. some good candy. Mm -hmm. Like one side's our world and and the other. 
the other slide is the upside down. Hmm. And there was this noise coming from everywhere. I saw something. Is it Demogorgon? It was like this huge shadow in the sky. And it was coming for me. Is this all real? Or is it, like the doctor say, all in your head? I don't know. Mm. Just please don't tell the others, okay? And don't trust that doctor. They won't understand. Eleven would. She would? Yeah. Oh, they, they never, never got even to got be to friends. Me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes I feel like I still see her. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. Me too. If we're both going crazy, then we'll go crazy together, right? Crazy together. They look like brothers, don't they? Mm-hmm. I guess. Maybe not even at all. It's so sad because they have all this candy and they're not even happy. Dang. All she did was call Steve BS and he left her. Yeah, but he told Steve, I don't love you, bro. This is all fake. But I was thinking the same thing. He shouldn't have left her, though. I know. Tell her it's a BS at the house. He's like, it's all right. I saw Jonathan Myers. I knew he'd take her home. <laughs> Jonathan. This feels so majestic with the music. Like this is like a magical scene or something. Is that Tom Cruise on her wall? <laughs> <laughs> I could be tripping. I don't think he was around in the eighties. Was he an adult in the eighties? Probably not. Back like then he went by Tommy Cruise. <laughs> Little Tom Tom. <laughs> uh oh. I hope hey, she's still there. Up, all right, look, I I know I'm late. I got candy here, all right? I got all the good stuff. Please, will you open the door? I'm gonna freeze to death out here. Oh. Uh, she did that with her mind. That's cool. I got stuck somewhere and I lost track of time. And I'm sorry. Al, would you please open the door? All right. I hope she's there. I'm kind of stressed out. I'm really stressed out. I'm just gonna be out here by myself eating all this candy. I'm gonna get fat. That's gonna work. <laughs> just say Very waffles. Healthy to leave me out here. Could have a heart attack or something. You know, you do what you want. I have some wafer bars. <laughs> Did someone say bacon? Refreshing. What, does she know karate or something? Right. She's a black belt. <laughs> She's like daredevil. No shot. Dang, that'd be hard. She's got some discipline because they're so close. You always have to put dust in after scenes like that. I remember there's something in that trash can. <laughs> no, it ain't. It gets. <laughs> Hoping ain't that redhead girl about to scare him. Shit. 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 <gasps> <gasps> Holy shit. It? I don't know, but the ending of that was so cool. All right, guys, that was Stranger Things. I really wanted to know what that creature in the trash can was. I know. Just working backwards here. I thought it was going to be like a cat or something. I mean, that's the obvious choice, right? I thought like it was going to be cat. huge because it was making a huge racket. Well, it sounded like some type of like alien or something, didn't <laughs> yeah, it? Like a monster. I, I don't really know what it was, but I guess hopefully in the next episode we'll see. But hopefully whatever it is, it doesn't get it doesn't get Dustin because it, might, it I know. might eat him up. Um, Basically, man, Dustin and Lucas are still enamored by the new girl they think that uh i kind of love it because they're bonding over it and those two are like enemies yeah yeah it's kind of <laughs> weird right it kind of like separates mike it kind of like puts mike out on an island mm -hmm. so somebody has to take things serious because you know they're because the show doesn't want everything to be too serious because that kills the chemistry of the kids but it can't be too goofy because then it takes away from the seriousness of the show so i think they're doing a really good job of like mixing it like yeah. now it's mike's turn to be super serious which mm -hmm. i guess in a sense he always was right right but Loving that. He tried to make contact with L, and I, I got a little glimpse of, you know, like an intuition that maybe he understood that she was there in some type, but then he 
He had one of those moments of this is stupid. What am I doing? Right. And he left. So broke he has Ellen's like heart. some faith in it. You can tell. What do you What are you thinking about this show so far? I think it's the most emotional show of my life. I don't know. It's really it's, good. It's so it? good. Yeah. So good. You know a show is good, man. When you when you press the start recording button and then next thing you know it's over it's just over yeah. so i don't even know how long that was but it feels like we've been recording for like 40 minutes right. i always talk about I, I know that i always say that the episode goes by fast man but that's just because we've been on some good stuff lately yeah. for real so i don't know what they're doing still trusting this place uh the same doctor obviously is as dirty as i'll get out all the information that will was given that doctor he basically relayed that information well they recorded the information but right. you can't trust hawkins nothing's changed it's just new faces, same procedures. Yep. And Joyce is happy. She's in a great relationship with a really nice guy. I wouldn't say she's happy. Yeah, because she's so in, in depth with Hopper. Well, not just that. He was like, we could be happy, we can move away, but she still has ties with Hawkins for some reason. It's like a weird... Well, she grew up there. Right, but she's like attached to it, I think, in the sense because of Hopper. Yeah, I don't know, man. Don't Joyce, know. you got to... You gotta move on, man. You gotta move the hell up out of that place. They done kidnapped your kid and everything. You gotta get out of there. I'd move the hell away from there, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Man, Hopper can hop on over here. <laughs> the, I guess he might not make a good sheriff in another town. Right. But anyways, yeah, she definitely is into Hopper, which kind of sucks because I really like the new guy, you know? She's I mean, for obvious dirty. reasons, we love the new guy. He's... Well, I like him because the kids like him, and he makes an effort with the kids, you know? Yeah. Hopper's kind of grungy. But but you could like you Hopper. could see from scenes in the show that he's kind of corny, and because of that, Joyce doesn't necessarily, like, she. that's why I think she's not going, like, all in, because they even, even Hopper made a joke about a nickname he had in high school, and obviously those two were busy, like, smoking cigarettes in fifth and sixth period not worried about they him were cool yeah and they were cool he yeah. maybe wasn't that cool but because he said you would have never looked at me in high school remember me no he said that to joyce oh what? <laughs> i'm sorry what is this about <laughs> <laughs> i was like i didn't say that though. but anyways uh yeah i do remember that but anyways i like them as a couple because you know they're happy little family but uh i don't know man we're gonna see with that you know i remember a long time ago somebody told us in marvel that tv needs more platonic relationships between men and women yeah <laughs> Uh, some people didn't agree. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Anyways, uh, same thing with Nancy. Nancy's well, that's exhibit one and exhibit two. Yeah, basically. Um, Steve and Nancy broke up. Maybe did they break up? I don't. Know. Or, I don't know if they broke maybe up. Maybe she's or gonna odds. say, "I'm sorry, I was." Or maybe she just won't remember. <laughs> she drank yeah, a lot yeah. of that. 100 He's gonna remember. Fuel. Yeah. <laughs> that would bother me forever if you yeah. did that to me. I'd be like, "What the heck?" But anyways, <laughs> um, that might be a uh, deal breaker. Yeah, possibly. But anyways, man, it's just really good to see that Will sort of moving on with his life a little bit. Uh, Mom's obviously super worried about him, super protective, as you can imagine. Right. Brother wants to give him a little room because brother can see. Well, it's embarrassing, Will. He wants to be normal. Well, Will, yeah. Will's just trying to, even if he doesn't feel normal, he wants to portray that he's normal. I think Jonathan really cares about that, though, because he was sort of a social outcast. Mm -hmm. and I don't think he wants that for his brother. So he protects his brother in that way. But, I, I love that. But he did Jonathan. try to tell him, you know what, dude, we are kind of freakish, I guess. You know, It's okay really to not. be a freak. Well, they're really not freaks. They're not. They're not freaks at all. But, but he's saying that because, you know, all the stuff he went through. I'm sure people Other people just say weird. they're freaks, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. he was missing. I'm sure that could seem a little weird. You're missing. And I'm sure whatever story they had to give might have been a little. I mean, you can't really call him a freak because of what he's went through. I mean, if he believes freaky things and maybe he could be a freak. But uh, I don't know. We just need to get more information about what's going on in this upside down. Yes. What is this monster that looks like a giant? Maybe it's a throwback to the damn spider from Lord of the Rings since I got Sam in here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's it looks like a bigger version. It's like the Demigorgon's a little thing and it's like kind of humanistic in a weird way. But this thing's like way bigger than that. You know what it gives me the vibe of? What? Like the all C and I. Like it's because, just huge. Well, yeah, it's almost like it's like And it's in the sky. Sky. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like it's it takes dominion over this realm. And so it's like protecting this realm or whatever the case may be. I don't know, but it's freaking me out. I just think it's crazy how the show keeps taking Will's character and he's in an arcade. And the next thing you know, he like blimps out of reality almost. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's almost like the transceivers in his brain start picking up a different frequency. Kind of like a radio. I, right. I made the example before. A radio is designed to pick up, you know, a certain radio signal if you're like in Georgia. But there's all these radio signals from all around the world. You're just not tuned to pick them up. But Will is like broken in a sense. Like he's done like broke through to the other side so mm -hmm. he's capable of perceiving both and it really makes me wonder like there's reality and then there's the upside down and they did make an example about the middle but are they going to like portray different realities or realms i don't know or whatever 
it's hard know. to tell it's hard to tell because we don't really even know what triggers that for will it kind of seems like everything well it looks like anytime he just thinks too hard about it it's almost like as long as his brain's completely off it but it seems like it can be triggered by stress getting scared getting jump scared maybe when he's sitting in an arcade and he stares into a corner for too long and his brain just starts racing about it you know we just gotta know more about it i guess but is he literally going there I don't or is know. he just perceiving it? Because I don't know, because when he's drawing it, his mom matched it up. I mean, and he drew right where it was. Well, you know how Nancy went there, but she physically had to go through, like, an yeah. existing plane to get there. Will seems to just be able to tap in there. So is he psychic on some level? Well, you know how he said, when he, you know, when you watch those projector screens, you're, like, in the middle? I feel like maybe just to Will, he's in the middle. Maybe the middle is where Eleven goes to find people. Maybe. Maybe that's, that's what the I middle. Because, you think. know, obviously, yeah. Guys, we probably missed all kinds because this this show right here is just one of those that, I mean, you could really have like a whole podcast breaking this thing down, man. So it's I'm so sure good. there's a lot of information, but you guys pretty much caught how we feel about it in the reaction. It's so good, man. I don't really know how to put my finger on why it's so good, but I just think the execution of it, the color grade, the music choices, you know, they probably had these kids retake these scenes several times and approach it in all these different ways and i just think they really did a good job capturing yeah. you know what came to mind so you know hopefully I'm, I'm rooting for uh for jonathan i'm hoping jonathan i kind of like jonathan with nancy just because steve just seems like bad news he just want he's just pulling her in these weird directions which i mean there's you know steve's whatever he's just a teenager but it just seems like jonathan's like the nicer guy and it seems like nancy's more of herself around jonathan and she tries to be someone that she's really not around what's his name steve steve so yeah but Loving the show, man. Is there anything that we're missing? Do we, do we need to say anything? Guys, thank you so much for hanging out in the Upside Down with us. It's been your boy October, your girl Mrs. October. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next episode. Hit us up on Patreon, man. We do post these over there. Full length, baby, raw, unedited. You don't got to do no sinking. And yeah, that's it, man. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.